thank you all for coming. I was fearful that only a handful of people would come. Um, looking at you guys, I realized that was unfounded. Thank you so much for coming. I, um, I have a speech because if I talk just like that, I would just ramble and forget the main points. Um, I like to say I'm a writer and not a public speaker, <laughs> so I will make this brief. Uh, I would like to recognize, before I go on to my thank yous, just to recognize the Trinidad and Tobago High Commission, who's taking a picture of me right now. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, they, they came on to support me, and um, a little bit of Trini flavor here, a little more. So thank you so much for coming. And Councillor Shrinoshenko, I practiced that for a while yesterday. Thank you for being here. Your support means a lot to me. And um, I also have a friend and writer here called Kendra. Where's Kendra? Hi, Kendra and I are working on a project. Uh, she does a travel blog. And we're working on a little project together to integrate travel and money. So if you want, if you have any questions about travel, talk to Kendra. <laughs> but it's a project that we're both very, very excited about. Um, now to the thank you. I would like to especially thank my publisher, DC Canada Education Publishing, for believing in this project from day one. Even when Leonard came across as crusty and serious and, and all of that, he, he really did believe in it from day one. And May, thank you very much for believing in this. Leonard, Susan, and Stephen, they're somewhere around here, so thank you all. Um, also, thank you to my very creative illustrator, Meredith Luce, who so beautifully brought my characters alive on the pages of Three Little Piggybacks. Um, I have to thank you to all of you. A special thank you to my employers, Counseling Society. And I am going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> no, not when you have makeup on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Credit Counseling Society, who, when they found out about my book, they called a meeting. And the meeting was to discuss how they can support me. And support me they did. Um, unwavering support. We have Stacey Floor here to be here for this launch. And my president and CEO, Scott Hanna, who is an industry leader in what we do, he actually wrote the forward for the book. What more support can I ask for, really? So, Thank you, Credit Counseling Society, the whole leadership team, Stacy, my direct manager, Isaiah Chan, who is a big cheerleader, and of course, full of CPS. Thank you, Stacey. Uh, a big thank you to friends, family, clients, for all the encouragement and support. And I do want to zero in on a few people, and the one I want to talk about now is <clears throat> someone, if I mention her name and I cry at the same time, she would say in a true Newfoundland accent, don't, but when she say I have it written here, I would kick your A-R-S-E. We, we have children here, so I can't say it. But in a true, tra in a true Newfoundland accent, that's what she'd say. I will kick your A-R-S-E if you cry while you talk about me. It's my mother-in-law, Thelma Christian, who uh, suddenly passed away four days ago. She was a big, <clears throat> she was a big, big cheerleader for this book. And um, she couldn't wait to get her hands on a copy. So, I felt this only fitting that I acknowledge her at my book launch. Thank you also to Robert Christian, the love of my life, who sadly couldn't be here as well because he had to fly home to Newfoundland to be with his dad since Thelma passed. But Robert's love and support inspired me to write this book, and there'll be no book without Robert, so thank you, Robert. <laughs> Lastly, and by no means least, I know it's a cliche to say that, but I didn't know how else to say it. <laughs> Lastly, and no means least, a huge thank you to Mary, Fran, on, which I hope I get the last name right. Um, Cheryl Codmore, thank you. Cheryl Thomas, thank you. <laughs> and my man of business, Tim Comerford, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, now I will uh, read a paragraph or two from my book, and then I believe I will be doing some signing and books that you want me to sign. I'm, I'm willing to take some questions if anybody have, maybe two or three questions, if you have any questions, maybe after I read my book. All right? So you have time to think about the question. <coughs> the thing about writing is that we're good at writing. Authors, we're good at writing, but the talking part is going to become natural. <coughs> Every day, I see how financial illiteracy causes hopelessness, addictions, broken dreams, sickness, broken marriages, and broken children. I see firsthand how this epidemic is passed on from generation to generation, perpetuating the cycle of excessive debt and living paycheck to paycheck. 
My objective for this book is to give children an opportunity to finally break that cycle and allow them to be free from the burden of financial worries and to enjoy the freedom of financial sustainability. It is never too soon to start learning about money and how to manage it. Let's educate the children who will grow up to be responsible and successful adults who, in the absence of financial worries, will have the capacity to focus on their dreams and to live their life at their full and true potential. Let's learn from Ella and Andy. <laughs> Let's all learn about goal setting and plan spending. Let's learn about giving back, about delayed gratification, keeping track of our expenses, talking openly about money and, and removing the taboo and stigma that comes with money, separating savings from spending, and of course, we need to learn live, how to live within our means. Thank you. Thank you. Any more questions? Okay.